Everyone tells us that we need crazy high amounts of sugar and carbs to elicit an insulin response to recover from a workout. Don't listen to that. Please don't. Let me explain a little bit about inflammation because I'm always talking about that. I'm going to break it down really, really, really simple. So stick with me through this entire video. It's not going to be a long one. Just I promise you it's going to be good stuff. I'm talking about the response of inflammation from white table sugar and from high fructose corn syrup and why we definitely need to be making some cognizant choices to input different things into our body. First of all, what is inflammation? All right, that's our body's immune response. It is the root of just about every, if not all diseases in the body. They're all being circled back to inflammation. Well, that's cool, but if you're younger and you're not as worried about the disease side of things, let me throw this at you. Inflammation is gonna make you recover slower. It's gonna make it so you burn less fat. It's gonna make it so you're hungry all the time. It's gonna make it so you're not strong. It's gonna decrease your sex drive. and It's gonna basically make you feel not very good. Okay, but let's talk about how it works in relation to white table sugar. On average, an average American consumes 22 teaspoons of white sugar per day. Most of that coming from the way of high fructose corn syrup. So it's gonna be in cereals, it's gonna be in sodas, it's gonna be in syrups, things like that. Now the American Heart Association recommends that we end up having anywhere from six to nine teaspoons. Go American Heart Association. Too bad that's way too high still, still gonna trigger a lot of inflammation. Let's talk about how it triggers inflammation so that you can understand why you should be making some changes. What ends up happening when we consume white table sugar or high fructose corn syrup is it increases something called inflammatory cytokines within the body. These are indicated by three main things. C-reactive protein, also known as CRP, tumor necrosis factor, also known as TNF if you ever see it, but then something called interleukin-6 and interleukin-8. No matter what they really are, all it means is that they are something that is triggered by white blood cells to actually attack a certain area or protect a certain area. Why is white sugar causing our immune system to elevate? It's so bad, it's causing this crazy reek of havoc throughout the body, usually through a crazy high spike in our blood sugar levels. Now let's talk about why this happens. When we look at white table sugar or high fructose corn syrup, there is such a level of processing. It removes all of the nutrients and only leaves us with the fructose and a little bit of glucose that allows it to spike our insulin levels. But believe it or not, when you combine white sugar or fructose with other foods, it can slow down the absorption of the good nutrients from those foods. Therefore, you have an even higher spike in blood sugar because there's nothing to slow it down. No phytonutrients, no fiber, nothing good, just a flat out spike in sugar. Now spiking up our insulin and spiking up our blood glucose can do a number of things. In the short term, it's gonna reduce your nitric oxide availability. This helps your heart function, so it's causing that issue. Then also in the short term, it's gonna increase your free radicals, which means your liver has to work overtime. That may not sound like much, but when your liver has to work overtime, it means your liver is not able to process fat and help you burn fat. Then, of course, it does what I told you before, increases inflammation, and it ends up causing this immune response that wreaks havoc on your body and makes you fatigued. But there's one other crazy thing you need to know, and that is that high fructose corn syrup and regular old white table sugar have a high amount of fructose in it. Yep, I'm talking about that good old healthy stuff from fruit, fructose. It can't be that bad, right? Wrong. Fructose responds so different in the body, especially when it's concentrated in that kind of form. There was even a study by 2016 Cancer Research that found that the cancers that are in breast cancer were exacerbated and had tumor growth directly related to the fructose that was coming from white table sugar and coming from high fructose corn syrup. Also increased lung metastasis, meaning it increased that breast cancer spreading to the lungs simply because of the fructose that was in the white sugar and the high fructose corn syrup. So we know now that fructose isn't exactly good for cancer, but what about when it comes down to our overall fat accumulation? Well, fructose uses something called an active transport system. It has to be used immediately. If it's not used immediately, it's stored as fat. Have you ever heard if you don't use it, you lose it? Well, with fructose, you don't use it, you gain it. And that is what we don't want. We don't want this big shot of fructose. So that's the basis of why you need to be avoiding this stuff like the plague. Forget the six teaspoons by the American Heart Association. Go down to zero if possible. Try subbing out your sugars for agave, dolcetti, maple syrup. And if you're really trying to kick the carbs, go with stevia or monk fruit. 
But when it comes down to inflammation, you wanna make sure they're also adding things like turmeric into the mix because that's gonna make sure that you're modulating that a little bit so you can at least control part of the process. Make sure that you comment and let me know what videos you wanna see, okay? I wanna hear from you. Make sure you comment and engage with me. I wanna communicate, I wanna be able to do more live videos and things like that. So let me know what you wanna hear about and I'll hear you out and I'll probably reply. So I will see you in the next video. Keep it locked in here on my channel.